Welcome to this channel. This channel is for education and culture based on historical and scientific evidence. So today I like to share with you and also to clear up the misunderstanding between Wing Chun and Shaolin Wang Chun, Fujian White Crane, and Southern Shaolin. The notion why I am sharing this today is because we need to be technically correct and precise and accurate. On the other hand, we need to be fair and have respect or mutual respect to everybody because we all can learn from each other. Now, what do I mean by fair? Fair, for example, is like this. If I have been using your technical content and I don't acknowledge it, I name it mine. Is that fair for you? Of course, it's not fair, right? That is actually stealing. Now, on the other hand, if I never touch your stuff, but you accuse me of using your stuff, is that fair for me? Well, of course, it is not fair because it is just a false accusation. So fair means if I use your technology, one need to admit on it, acknowledge it. Fair also means that if other people is not using our technology, then don't make any accusation. Okay? So that is fair. Now, of course, in the West, is a different story. In the West, you violating other people's pattern, people sue the hell out of you. They go to court right away, say, hey, you know, prove it in the court. Or if you accuse other people falsely, then you go to court again. Well, in the West, when you deal with technology, it's always like that. There's no gray area. Let the judge judge based on evidence. Now, for past 130 years, the issue with Wing Chun is Wang Chun, Wang Chun is Wing Chun, uh, Wing Chun is from White Crane of Fujian and uh, uh, is from uh, uh, Southern Shaolin. You can see all these things flowing around. Now, 130 years have been passed. Today, in America, we have enough data to show what is going on. we can get to the bottom line technically to look at things clearly. That way, it will be fair for everybody and you don't give chance for those who is uh, playing opportunity to screw things up. Okay? And it is important to get this thing clear because without thing is clear, there is no future. How can you uh, proceed in your uh, technical development? 
if you keep being saying that Apple phone is the same with the uh, Android phone. Okay, so let's start. Number one thing, we need to know that the 1850s Wing Chun and the post 1870s Wing Chun, they are two different types of art that we have to we have to uh, acknowledge it and we have to accept it because that's historic. So uh, for those of you who have not watched my video here, Anti Ching Wing Chun 1850 and Pro Wing Chun, uh, Pro Ching Wing Chun 1875 history, by evidence, time for clear up. Please watch my YouTube. Okay. So uh, this is the post-1870 Wing Chun. Now, this is the 1850s Wing Chun. So let's look at the 1850s Wing Chun today in comparison with the Shaolin Wang Chun. Now, Everything which is real in the history can be trackable, right? There will be evidence there. So 1850s Wing Chun, we know it is from the anti Ching Red Boat Opera. And uh, as in my previous video, I have already shared a few times, this is the salutation. This is the woman salutations in the Qing dynasty. And this is the Wing Chun 1850 salutation. That's why it's called what? Woman's art. Because this type of martial art is belongs to the, uh, the actor who played the female role in the anti-Qing 1850s Red Boat Opera troupe. So this is the opening salutation. This is the closing salutations with its gesture that it is belongs to the male play female character or role, part of the anti Ching. Uh, Red Boat Opera. So this is the saying. Short finger, bong elbow, present to the hero, where hero is the anti Ching. Okay? Now we know where it is, because we have the salutations. Uh, we know this exists in Fatsan, in the Fine Jade Associations, prior to 18... 54, prior to the uprising, and after that, uh, the Fine Jade Association is shut down completely, and that's it, okay? Uh, please watch my video, this video, to see the entire thing. Now, and also you can see on the 1870s Wing Chun, or the post 1870s Wing Chun, which is major of today's Wing Chun is belong to the post 1870s Wing Chun. Okay, again, please watch this video so that you see everything clearly by evidence. Now, so we know that 1850s Wing Chun is in the fine jade, the anti Qing group in Fatsan. In the same level, we do know that Shaolin Wang Chun in, is from a temple. A temple in Canton. A temple in Canton. It exists today. It exists in the history. It is a legit historical uh, 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 
evidence there, okay? So in this temple, the temple is named as Flying Hill Temple. It is a Buddhist temple. And within the Flying Hill Temple, that is an iron juice hall. And this iron juice hall is the hall where they train Mashats, okay? So, since 1708, the Iron Juice Hall exists. So, they train the martial arts, they uh, protect, they protect the, uh, the, the temple, and also it protects uh, people uh, who travel in the in the in the in the uh, river so that they don't get robbed okay so all those monks is doing good job for that and uh, it is continue on until in the uh, 1840s up to 1860s that is a monk named Ji Sim. Okay? A monk named Ji Sim who participated in the uprising in the 1850s uprising. Okay? Because there's only at that time you have the uprising there. Okay? The, the, the uprising of the anti Qing. This temple is from the monk, start from the monk who is known to be anti Qing. So, so Ji Sim, uh, after the, the participate in the uprising, he went to the Flying Here Temple, he lived there, and he teaches students. And the martial art he taught is the Shaolin Wang Chun with the six point half hole the, uh, and the uh, wooden dummy. Okay, and uh, we know uh, what is uh, the, 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 the Shaolin Wang Chun. So Shaolin Wang Chun is from this flying here. Uh, temple, the Buddhist temple, and within the temple there is a hall, meaning Iron Juice Hall. It is from that hall. It has a long history that you can track. Okay? Now, so if you look at that, that is saying, you know, this is the, the, the family trees. This is Qing Yuan Fei Loi Temple, Wing Chun Martial Arts. So you have Qi Sim here. And then you have this Tang Pun, the Tang family, you know, and then it passed down to Tang Yek, and then you can see Feng Xiu Cheng is here. So this is the uh, this is the family tree, and we know that this is real. Okay, this uh, this temple is real because you know you can go even today. Okay, so now you know that. The Wing Chun 1850 is from the, the, the opera, which is anti Qing, and uh, which is the Fine Jade Association, and Fine Jade Association has been banned and is over, gone in the history. And uh, while the uh, Buddhist temple, uh, this uh, flying here Buddhist temple, Hui, uh, Fei Loi temple, uh, the the iron juice hall in this temple we still today we can we can track in by evidence and we can track in the history so shaolin wang chun is that legit sure legit i mean this is history you like it or not it is it is that evidence wing chun 1850 is legit i mean you like it or not it is that in the history Whatever real you can look, you can check, you can trace it in the history, right? Now, so we know this, we know this, uh, this, uh, this, this uh, family trees, and uh, 
we know that the 1850s Wing Chun's and the Shaolin Wing Chun, they are from two different places. Both of them uh, belong to the M Tai Ching. Okay. <clears throat> Let's look at the uniqueness of the, uh, the, the, the Wang Chun, the Shaolin Wang Chun. The uniqueness of the Shaolin Wang Chun is this is a close fighting. Okay, this is their uniqueness. This is the close fighting. This is how their uniqueness is. Now over here, we don't want to talk about who is better than who. Keep that comparison, who is better than who, out of here. We are talking about like, is this an Apple phone or if this is an Android phone? Okay, it's a characteristic what is important here. It's not who is better and all those kind of nonsense, okay? Now, so this is the distance. This is how uh, the uniqueness, this is how the fighting and the uniqueness. And uh, yeah, so uh, the Tang family Wing Chun is close body like this. But it is not my son or sticking body. Now, the uniqueness of the 1850s Wing Chun, we know it is this close. So you can please watch this video if you like. Uh, on presentations of this technically. Now, of course, this is from Shaolin Short Strike. So the uniqueness of sticking body, short strike, Wing Chun. This is a Wing Chun 1850. You have four hands. The body hand, the leg hand, and the both two hands. So it is two different types of art. The Wing Chun 1850 and the Shaolin Wang Chun of the flying here uh, temple Iron Juice Hall, the Monk's Hall. It is a uh, two different type of uh, uh, martial art from two different places with two different type of characteristics. Now, as for the training, as for the training, this is the way how they train for the Shaolin Wing Chun. First is about the earth. Earth is the body. Earth is the body. That's the first level. First level is the earth training, the body, physical body. Okay? And then, there's water. You want to make it soft. Soft jing. And then the third one is explosive. So, Shaolin Wang Chun have three types or three levels of training. The earth, the water, the fire. Now, that is very different than 1850s Wing Chun as you all see I presented here. About your six core element, your mind, body, become one, your nurture chi, your uh, the, 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 the circulation in the meridians, your seven bowls, your force flow, and then on top of that is your explosive power, the full accelerated momentum. Again, this is a very different type of art. The way how they train is different. Okay, now. Now, so we know that the martial arts, the martial art uniqueness, Shaolin Wang Chun is from this legit, historically, by evidence, solid temple called Fei Lai Temple. And inside there, there's a hall called Iron Juice Hall. 
is from that, is a Kung Fu from that. And uh, 1850s Wing Chun is from the anti Ching uh, Red Boat Opera, belongs to the group where the male actor playing the female role. That's why it's called, it, it is a woman's art, a female art. You have the different close body or sticking body uniqueness. 1850s Wing Chun is a sticking body. Shaolin Wang Chun is a close body. Shaolin Wang Chun training, you have the earth, the water, the fire. The 1850s Wing Chun, you have the six core element from the Qi, the meridians, the force flow, and the momentum. Very different stuff. Okay. Now, Let's continue look even more to it. Let's look into the six point half pole. This is a really classical, uh, really well known uh, uh, video in the YouTube by Grandmaster Tang Yek, which is uh, in the uh, in the lineage. Just now, over here, so this is Tang Yek, Grandmaster Tang Yek. Okay, so so you you are legit thing. Now, this is the six point half pole. A few things we can talk about this six point half pole. The first thing is, if you look at this Grandmaster Tang Yek, his lead hand is the right hand. The right hand, right arm is the lead hand, the lead, the leading. You look at the hand over here, when he holds the pole, he holds at the edge of the pole. Okay? Now, if you look at the 1850, this is a left hand pole, left hand leads pole. You look at over here, you see that is left like a six inch prior to the edge. So why is this six inch? Because 1850s six point half pole, the point half pole is a spear hidden within every within the six techniques you strike or you attack with one technique is not end yet that always you have a hidden point uh, spear inside there which is called the half pole this is uh, based you can look at it like uh, based on the chi chi guang's classic you slam down you you, you can chop down and then you spear Okay, so that, that, that's half pole. Now, Shaolin Wang Chun have a different type of six point half pole. Their point five pole is not the same with the 1850s that half spear. And you look at that, they are the right hand pole where the 1850s Wing Chun is the left hand pole. You look at the back hand here, the 1850 always have about six inch left because it want to reserve for that the, the, the last spear. And the Shaolin Wang Chun do not have that. They are different. They use the pole differently. Now, what does we know? 1850s Wing Chun and Shaolin Wang Chun. They are two different, complete different type of art. Okay? Based on your technical uniqueness, one is close body, one is sticking body, one is using the, uh, the earth, the uh, water, the fire, another is six core element from chi to, to, to uh, momentum. 
six-point half pole. Shaolin Wang Chun is a right-hand pole with holding the, 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 the end hand here to the edge of the pole. The 1850 is a left-hand pole. And the edge, you always have a, a, a six-inch here, a, a six-inch prior say a six inch prior to the, the edge. So do I can have that, that half point spear. It is a completely different Kung Fu style. Okay, that's Wang Chun and Wing Chun. Both identifiable in history, where they belong to, what is the characteristic of their martial art from their, their, their Kung Fu uniqueness and uh, their hand uh, uh, combat, com uh, unarmed combat to the six by half pole, they have their uniqueness different. So, so there is no questions on Wing Chun 1850 and Shaolin Wang Chun. They are uh, belongs to the anti Qing, but different group of anti Qing and different arts. It's just technically like that by evidence. <laughs> now, the issue come in post-1870 until today. This is the uniqueness of Shaolin Wang Chun. Okay. Look at the six-point half pole today. Is that right hand forward or left hand forward? Are you using the Shaolin Wang Chun six point half hole? Are you using this type of uniqueness? Are you using Shaolin Wang Chun's wooden dummy? If yes, acknowledge it. Okay. If you just acknowledge it. But you look around, the wooden dummy is the Shaolin Wang Chun's wooden dummy. The distance of the fight your chi sao is the Shaolin Wang Chun distance. The pole is the right hand pole. It is not have have a, a completely chopped off from uh, the 1850s Wing Chun technology. So, when the situations happen like that, then one have to be honest. Where is this technology from? So, for many, many, many decades, or hundreds of years when people quarrel on this Wang Chun is Wing Chun, Wing Chun is Wang Chun stuff, you face it. If you're using somebody's stuff, why don't you acknowledge it? If you don't acknowledge it, it is not fair. Right? Now, for the 1850s Wing Chun, that is not the post 1870s Wing Chun. So that, if you say that, oh, Wang Chun put a blanket statement. Wang Chun, uh, Wing Chun is Wang Chun. Well, that's not right. So right now, it is better to split it off. 1850s Wing Chun, post 1870s Wing Chun, until today, Wing Chun, Tutel Wing Chun, and Wang Chun. And the post 1850s, uh, post 1870s Wing Chun until today, you have to admit that you are using the Wang Chun, Shaolin Wang Chun wooden army, six point half pole, and the uniqueness of fighting. 
it, it is technical like that. If you go to a court, like look at the pattern, different patterns, you look at that, hey, technically it is like that. So is, the, is this clear? Okay. So here on, I just hope that uh, the friend from the uh, from the Shaolin Wang Chun know that there exists two types of Wing Chun here. Cannot make equivalent. Before, well, like all Wing Chuners, how do you know that there's 1850s Wing Chun? You don't. But right now we dig out all the evidence out. You know it's clearly that way. Right? My evidence. Right? I just share with you, just uh, watch my YouTube video and all those things, right? We know where this thing from. Now, so hope that that is clear. If you are using somebody's stuff, admit it. Why argue? If somebody is not using your stuff, don't say it. Because there are false accusations, because that just shows that you don't understand what is going on. Now, As for many people who like to say, oh, you know, uh, Wing Chun is from Shaolin. Uh, sorry, well, from Fujian White Crane. Fujian White Crane. Let me share with you one thing. Look at this uh, typical Fujian White Crane type of power generations and the body. This is very typical type. Now, tell me, is this type of body mechanics and power applicable to the 1850s Wing Chun where you need to be in the close body range? When you need to be in this range, in this range, can I use that white crane wing chun's uh, uh, power generations? Of course, it's not. The mechanic is completely unapplicable, not applicable in the uniqueness of the 1850 wing chun. The same thing, you look at at this distance. Well, the Shaolin Fujian's power generation applicable here when you stick around with your hand? For me, I look at that, it is not likely. Okay? Look at how big the motion in it. Again, this is the white crane Fujian. It's a different type of art. Sure, in the 1850s Wing Chun, the 1850s Wing Chun have a small part techniques of techniques is modified from the white crane Fujian, but it is not white crane Fujian. Okay, that has to be really clear. 1850s Wing Chun, as what I say, if you use somebody's technology, then acknowledge it. There is a certain part there. But it is not, the 1850s Wing Chun is not white cream from Fujian. The weight is the fighting uniqueness is from Shaolin Short Strike. The body conditioning, most of it, everything is from the Ermesh Erzhuang. You have a small parts of technical thing, which is from Fujian White Crane. That's what it is, 1850s Wing Chun. Now, as for the Southern Shaolin, as for the Southern Shaolin, So there, there's a, this, uh, this YouTube in the 
in the video. There are three Southern Shaolin there. There is a uh, Hu Tian, there is a Zhuang Jiu, there's another one in Fu Qing. Why don't you guys make make it sure which is Shaolin and uh, where is the Shaolin uh, 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 Southern Shaolin first before talk about Wing Chun uh, 1850 is from the Shaolin or uh, Shaolin Wang Chun is from Shaolin. Can you make up your mind first which in where is the uh, Southern Shaolin? Is it from uh, from Zhuang Jiu, from uh, Pu Tian or from Fu Qing? If you couldn't even make up your mind on where is the Southern Shaolin, stop telling people, hey, you know, uh, Wing Chun 1850 is from Southern Shaolin. And then you say Shaolin Wing Chun is from Southern Shaolin. Okay, what are you talking about? In the meantime, in China, hey, make up your mind. Where is Southern Shaolin? Is that in the Fujian? Fujian, they have three places. Uh, Fujian Pu Tian, Fujian uh, Zhuang Jiu, or Fujian Fu Qing. See, up to now, I didn't have my opinion. This is just what lined it up here by evidence. Now, so I choose to, to share this because, like for example, Grandmaster Tang Ye, he spent his entire life to protect the art of Southern uh, of the uh, Shaolin Wang Chun. Look at his life. It is a lot of hard work, a lot of hard, how to say, they go through a very hard time. Okay. And of course, we want to respect and uh, we always can learn from those who is who, who, who is uh, the real master, like Grandmaster Tang Yek, right? On the other hand, you look at the 1850s Wing Chun, it is not Shaolin Wang Chun. It is sticking body, short strike. It is a complete different stuff. And uh, so, People can be friend and learn from each other what is different there. Instead of getting into Wing Chun, it is Wang Chun, Wang Chun is Wing Chun. And then the people who are using other people's stuff do not stand up and say, hey, you know, I acknowledge I using his stuff. This is not Wing Chun, this is Shaolin Wang Chun. And the people who is uh, in the uh, in the white crane, Fujian Wing Chun. Stop the saying, hey, you know, Wing Chun, Wang Chun is all from Shaolin, uh, uh, from northern, uh, from the southern Shaolin, is from Fujian, is from White Crane. You know, what are you talking about? To make it clear is good for everybody, isn't it? So that everybody can be friends and can be honest and accurate and proceed. And you give credit to the Grandmaster, like Grandmaster Tang, Tang Yat. You need to do that in, in, uh, in, when you write technical paper, people using other people's technical idea from the technical paper, don't we code it? That's called professional, right? So this is what I'm sharing with you. I know in the Asia for past uh, 130 years is all, it's very messy. It is very messy. But in the West, it's good that we are in America. We open up this clearly. Because it only open up things clearly is good for everybody who really, really care for either you study the Shaolin Wang Chun or you study the Wing Chun. You know what is going on there. In Asia, it is like a... It seems that it's like a, a, a not interested to clear thing up. 
So you, you always have this uh, fair, unfair there. So it's always like uh, in the Buddha's teaching. The guy who owe other people will not want to pay. And the guy who get owe, okay, get borrowed, get, get take away, will have this hatred. We don't want to do that. No, we want to clean this thing up, learning from everybody, and uh, be honest, be professional. If you're not professional, what the heck are you going to do? I mean, this is 2022. Are you sure that nobody like Xu Xiaotong's fan will not find out what I tell you today? So it is better that we rectify the entire thing before you have a Xi Xiaotong fan, like in the YouTube, you see, list the entire thing. This is fake. This is fake. This is fake. This is fake. This is made up. You read that point, then everybody going down to the tube. And you screw the, uh, the, the ancient grandmaster, and you screw yourself, and you screw the entire system. So, I know, to share this video here is like a, I will never win popularity contest. But my job is not to win popularity contest anyway. My job is that if it is belong to Shaolin Wang Chun, then say so. If it belong to Wing Chun 1850, say so. If you are anti-Qing or you are Qing or pro-Qing, say so. There's nothing wrong to be honest. It is only wrong when it is honest and this is a cover up and it's all kinds of uh, 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 distortion there. Purposely make distortion. So this is what I'd like to share with you today. 